computer. And hello, welcome to Monday. Is that what day it is? I think so. Um, so oh, uh, not a personal story today, but a, hopefully a, possibly an informative story. I'm not sure. Uh, so uh, when I did my uh, teacher training in India, I studied with an Ayurvedic doctor named Dr. Nagaraja. And he told uh, all of the students that we should take, uh, and that's, what he, that's the word he used, was take a spoonful of powdered ginger uh, every day. Just seems like a lot. By the way, if you have a heart condition or on any kind of blood thinning medication, you should not take uh, ginger every day. You should talk to your doctor about the possible side effects of taking. Well, ginger is, is a blood thinner. But anyways, he told us to do that, uh, and it would create uh, what he referred to as digestive uh, fire. So if ever, and also it's good to take, like if you have a stomach ache or whatever, and uh, actually I stole my mom's Tupperware, don't tell her, and I keep my ginger right there. It's just kind of like, almost like a really fine sand. And I take it, and Dr. Nagaraja told me that he just took it as a spoon in his mouth. I wanted to call bullshit, but it didn't seem appropriate. And uh, that would be very difficult to do. And I do a half a spoon in a glass of water and then drink it down. The reason I bring it up is because yesterday I was looking at Instagram and I follow this Chinese uh, medicine uh, lady, doctor, and um, she said that uh, as you get older, you, I don't think I have a couple on my hands, you get these like brown spots as you get older and you get them on your face sometimes too. The freckles, they get bigger over time. And people say it's from the sun. She said it is not from the sun. It is from the lack of blood circulation and that if you take ginger every day, it will reduce those. So I thought that was kind of important. But just again at the end, if you're gonna, if, and I take lots of ginger and I like it. You can get it as a tea, but I take it just as this powder and you can get it in big bags. And, male deer at the store or whatever. But um, if you've got a heart deal going on, make sure that, that because it is a thinner. So if you have any blood issues, and that was a very informative, not my normal conversation uh, before the beginning of class, but I like to mix it up. If you're not sitting down, uh, please go ahead and uh, sit down because we're going to start real easy. And the vet's here. She was setting up her uh, daily. Um, but when sitting, we're going to just cross the legs. We're just going to do a couple very simple uh, sitting postures. Let's just start with the arms uh, straight out in the front here. And then we're going to turn the uh, wrists down, turn the fingers down, and then lengthen out through the fingers uh, if you like. Oh, my thumb is tight. Let the shoulders drop down and just hang here, breathing. Good, turn the palms so that they face the sky. Come all the way up, and we're gonna touch the, like the, the shoulder blades way in the back, and try to extend the elbows uh, straight up to the sky. Pull your core in, keep your face facing straight forward, and try to have the elbows pointing up, and we'll take a few breaths here. Breathing in and out through the nose. Good, let's put the right hand down, fingers pointing away, keep the right arm straight. Left palm faces the ceiling, and we're gonna come all the way up over with a straight line, and we'll look up along the uh, armpit and elbow to the ceiling. We'll revisit some of these moves partially in other poses. Partially in other poses. <laughs> we'll perform them partially in other poses. Let's switch over to the other side. Did you hear my neck crack? Oh, uh, there we go. Other side, and then again, looking up. We're reaching. We're keeping the arm that's on the ground straight. I've seen people, we don't need to get down there. We'll get that side stretched other ways. Good, let's stand. You're not gonna see all of me, but you'll be able to see a vet, but you don't need to see all of me anyways. And if you do, I'll make it possible to see. We're gonna step one foot over the other, your choice, and then we're gonna hang. 
One's hanging, let the back open, and you could uh, circle in the arms if you like. You could do grabbing the elbows uh, like Yvette did, because Yvette's much more flexible than me. So if your hands touch the ground, you want to grab the elbows, because we want all gravity uh, pushing us down and opening up the back. And if you want to circle on the hands, real good for the shoulders. Great, let's uh, switch the feet. So we'll just go on over to the other side. And then again, you could just hang. And if your hands touch the ground, grab uh, elbows or prayer. If not, you can have them out uh, pendulum, penduluming. Proper pendulum <laughs> procedure would be good for the shoulders. All right, excellent. Let's have, and now that we got to kind of, uh, you can see my feet closely. We want big toes together, ankles a little bit apart. Put your hands on your shins, and then take a breath in through the nose, looking up, and then breathe out through the nose as you forward fold. And then again, breathe in through the nose, looking up, and then out through the nose, forward fold. And then again, over and over. All the breathing tonight is going to be in and out through the nose, just like this. We're going to find our rhythm and our tempo of the breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. Looking up, breathing in. Breathing out. One more look up, breath in. Breathe out. And then this time, we're going to come all the way up, sweeping the arms up into the sky. We'll come down through the heart center, like so. And then uh, all the way back up again, breathing in, breathing out, forward folding, fingers low. And we look up and we forward fold, all the way back up, reaching out and up. Whoops, down to the heart center. Back up on the in breath. Breathing out, forward folding again, fingers low. We look up. Forward fold, back up. This will be the one. Come on, all the way back up, reaching out and up. Forward fold again, fingers low. Hope I didn't skip it down through the way we do. We look up, and from here, we're going to step back to the top of a plank. We want to have straight lines, shoulders to ankles if possible. Uh, shoulders over the wrist, middle finger straight forward. Tighten the core, tighten the legs. And then on the out breath, go ahead, lower down, up dog, legs tight, the toes are pointing back, we're hovering, the knees are not down, but they can be. And then either roll back or tuck the toes, good. And we're gonna bend the right leg, push the opposite heel towards down, stepping the feet back and forth a little bit. And then when you're ready, walk your way up to the top of the mat, bring those feet back together, keep the fingers down, the legs will be straight. We're gonna look up and lengthen the tail through the eyeballs, forward fold. Let's come all the way back up, sweeping the arms into the sky, down through the heart center, push into the earth, circle all the way back up on the in-breath. Breathing out, forward fold, again, fingers low. We'll keep them down. We're gonna look up. We step back, top of push up again, lower down, up dog, legs tight, and down dog, pulling up and back. Nice. On this one, uh, in breath up on the toes, uh, out breath down with the heels. You don't have to do that, but the feet are about two feet, of, uh, two fists apart. Hands about the distance of, the, say, your shoulders, and uh, middle finger straight forward. Whole hand is on the mat, breathing in and out through the nose. And when you're ready, you can walk or hop to the top of the mat, feet together, fingers low, we look up, we forward fold, all the way back up, reaching out and up. Let's come down through the heart center again, we push into the earth, we circle back up on the in-breath, breathing out, forward fold again, fingers low. We're gonna look up, we're stepping back, top of push-up again, Lower down, up dog, and down dog, and nice. So this is number three. Remember that anytime you want, you can rest 
But uh, if you're not resting, and even if you are resting, continue breathing in and out through the nose. Really great way to breathe. And you can stick the tongue to the roof of your mouth. It'll keep you from clenching the jaw. We're looking at the knees of the navel, so the head's hanging, tucking a little bit. And yes, when you're ready, step or hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, the forward fold. This time when we come up, let's intertwine all the fingers and we're gonna turn the palms up towards the ceiling. And yes, take your feet apart. Let's lean over to the right, hold the core. And over to the left. Good, back to center, let's push the walls out. We'll pull the fingers back. Try to move only from the hips up and the hips down, try to keep it still. Let's turn and look to the right. And we'll turn and look to the left. Very nice, back to center and feet back together. Big toes touching, ankles a little bit apart. We're gonna vinyasa for Surya Namaskara V section. Please sit in chair again. We come all the way up and over, forward folding again, fingers low. We're gonna look up, we step back, uh, top of push up, lower down, up dog, and down dog. Let's start with warrior one on the right. Right foot steps, little outside the center line. Arms up, back foot flat, 45, 90 degrees, somewhere in there, back leg straight. Uh, if you like, you don't have to. Uh, Yvette doesn't need to, but if your shoulder's hanging back, she can do it as a demo. Reach the left arm forward from the back, so you're not reaching out of the joint, you're reaching from the back. And then again, we uh, touch the ceiling, and hands back down, step back, have a push-up, lower down, up dog, down dog, and other side. That will be the left, left foot stepping. Try to be heel to heel aligned, that's why we step a little bit outside. Uh, Right arm forward, for those of you that want to, from the back, so it's not really the arm, it's the right back forward, right back shoulder forward, I don't know if that's even such a thing. And anyways, touch the sky again, hands down, step back again, top of push up, we're gonna lower down, up dog, and down dog, and fabulous. Let's stay here, just breathing, taking our time, listening to the sound of the breath, All righty, hop on up, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, the forward fold, feet and knees together, sitting in chair again, and standing, shoulders down, holding the core tight. Let's do some more, please sit in chair, up over, forward folding, fingers low. We look up, we step back, top of push up, lower down, up dog, and down dog, right side again. Warrior one, right foot steps, back up this time, hands in prayer above the head. We let the head fall back, so the arms come naturally together in the space where the head was, looking up to the ceiling if it doesn't bother your neck too much. Knee over the ankle in the front there, yeah, good. Hands back down, step back on top of push up, lower down, up dog, and down dog. Uh, we will do a uh, left side, left foot stepping, Back up again, hands in prayer, reaching up again, looking up again, squaring the chest forward. Very nice, hands back down, step back, top of push up. We're gonna lower down, up dog, and down dog, and great. Let's stay here, just breathing, just taking your time. All right, step hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, forward fold, feet and knees together, sitting in chair, standing arms all the way down. Let's do a couple more. Sit in chair again. Up over, forward folding, fingers low. We look up, step back, top of push up, lower down, up dog, down dog, right side again, warrior one. Yes, all breathing in the nose, looking up, hands together, maybe arching back. Excellent, hands back down, step back, top push up, 
lower down, up dog, hand down dog, left side please, back up, hands together, looking up, maybe arching back, very nice, hands back down, step back, top of push up, lower down, up dog, and down dog, and great, breathing here. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna do the big long sequence uh, that we used to always do on Wednesdays, but we're doing it on Monday. All right, hop on up again, top of the mat. We look up, the forward fold, feet and knees together, sitting in chair, and stand, shoulders back and down, tight core. One more, sit in chair, up over, forward folding. We look up. We step back, top of push-up, lower down, up dog, down dog, right side, warrior one again. Let's hold here and slow it the hell down. Good, arms out in the front with the palms facing the ceiling. Shoulders down, hold your core, continue with the breath. Good, turn the palms to face and then open all the way up. And maybe look up. Really get into opening your hands, which are always clamping devices these days, like phones and junk. So really get those hands wide. Open the palms, breathe into the palms. Turn the thumbs down, bring the hands behind the tail, intertwine the fingers. We're gonna forward fold, uh, hovering the right shoulder over the right knee, lifting the arms up as much or as little as you want. We're gonna stay here a little longer. Now you're welcome to keep the foot flat. You're welcome to come to the ball of the foot. We'll place the left hand down, reach the right arm up. It's a quick twist here in the beginning and nice, hands back down. Step back, uh, top of push up again, lower down, up dog and down dog, let's do left side, left foot stepping, back up to warrior one, taking our time, good, and then we're gonna reach all the way out, like that, yes. We'll stay here a little longer. Good, turn the palms to face, open up, Maybe look up, keep breathing. Excellent, thumbs down, behind the tail, intertwine the fingers, we'll come down and hover again, lifting the arms up off of the uh, back. We breathe here, hanging around. And right hand down, you could keep the foot the same. You can come to the ball of the foot. We get that little bit of twist. Excellent, hands down, step back again, top of push up. Lower down, up dog, and down dog. And excellent, let's stay here, breathing. Looking at the knees of the navel, some are in between, so the head is hanging, more than hanging, tucking. Your heels are trying to push down. It doesn't mean they'll get there. You don't have to adjust the body to make that happen. Just and if they don't get down, the more stretching you got, which is great. That's partly why we're here. Partly, partly, partly. All right, step hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, we forward fold, feet and knees together. We're gonna sit in chair. And let's twist, taking the right elbow outside of the left leg, hands in prayer, pulling towards the chest, turn the fingers up towards your face and we're gonna stay here. You could open the arms if you like, keep your tail pointing straight back. Good, let's just hang down for a moment. And then move the shoulders if you like, let the back drop open. And let's sit in chair again, Ukatasana. And then we'll take the left elbow outside. 
And we'll stay here. You could open the arms if you like. Excellent. Back to center. Take the feet apart, distance of our shoulders. Do grab prayer or elbows, and we're going to hang. You're welcome to bounce a little bit. If you bounce, push the breath out of your nose as the body drops down. Good. Peace fingers come all the way up. Breathe in. And then all the way down, we are going to grab the big toes. Coming in, the toes are pushing the fingers down. This is the Astanga grip. We use it in uh, two or three or four different poses, maybe more. Good, back up. We touch the ceiling again. And back down, hands underneath the feet uh, from the front. You could pull up on the feet a little bit if you want more action. Think of your spine reaching all the way down your back, through your neck, to the crown of your head, to the mat, getting long. Let's stay here till the sirens pass. He's telling me in the house. We're going to stay here longer. I hope they're not coming here. All righty, let's stand. Arms down, shoulders back, tight core. We're going to turn the feet back together. Top of the mat, top of the hat. Let's sit in top of the muffin. Sit in a chair. That's a Seinfeld joke. All the way up and over, forward folding, fingers low. We're going to look up. We're gonna step back, uh, top of push up again, lower down, up dog and down dog. Warrior number two on the right, please. Oh, cracky. So best you can, knee over the ankle right there. You could do less. I would never do more than that. Back leg straight. See the spine, try to make it run straight up the middle there and we look to the reaching hand in front of us. We're gonna stay a little longer today. Let's just breathe. Straight the leg in the front. Sometimes I barely shorten the stance. I don't know why I do it. I've noticed that I did it on these videos and I've been doing it probably for 20 years. We're gonna reach out a bit. And then triangle, right hand down, left arm up, or my favorite, palms facing out in the way, or uh, you don't wanna bend the leg, you don't wanna mess with your alignment, which is stacking the body over the leg, but if you can get to the toe, the astanga grip, the peace fingers around the big toe, like a uh, bed has there. Let's breathe. You can look to the reaching hand, you can also look to the side or down. The reaching hand is the tradition. Great, let's place both hands on the shin. You definitely want to shorten the stance about three inches, unless you're real flexible. Yeah, and Yvette's already got it, we're doing the twist. If you don't want to twist, you could just stay here holding the shin, which is a lot like um, a pyramid, I believe. I just lost my mind for a second. You could also take the back of the left hand outside of the leg here, push as you grip the big toe, which you should do anyway, it's into the mat. We reach the arm up and we twist, we lengthen the tail to the crown of the head. And good, hands back down, step back again, top of plank, lower down, up dog, down dog, and left side, left foot stepping. Still the knee over the ankle in the front, best as you can. Less is okay all the time. Arms out, straight spine. We'll stay here looking at the fingers. Your fingers and the hand in front of you.
Good, straight the leg, reach out and triangle on the other side. So you can hold the shin, keep the leg straight, palms out, arms up, maybe looking up. Let's stay here and breathe. Easy. Very nice, both hands on the shin again. For me, I would definitely shorten the stance. And then, yep, right hand on the shin, like I did, or back of the hand. If you get it on the ground, uh, you want it real close to the foot and then real tight. It'll take a moment longer. This is a difficult pose. Don't worry about feeling like, you know, whatever. Breathe into the anxiety of the difficultiness of it and breathe in the tension that we're creating through moving the body in this pose. And very nice, hands back down, step back, top push up, lower down, up dog and down dog, and great job. That's about at the, the peak of our, our uh, structure of the class. Um, breathing here, resting if you like, remember, all the time, any time, but always breathing, and always the option to rest. And you're ready, go ahead, step, jump, top of the mat again, toes together. We look up, the forward fold, feet and knees, ukatasana, they call it the chair here. And let's stand, arms down, shoulders down, tight core. Let's do some more if you don't mind. Sit in chair, up over, forward folding again. We look up, we step back, top of push up, or lower down, up dog. And down dog, a warrior two on the right, right foot steps. Here we are again, nice and easy. See the fingers, hear the breath. We're gonna do extended side angle by taking the center of the right arm and placing it right out there real close to the knee. You could splay the fingers, you can make a fist, left arm is up and over. You look along the armpit to the ceiling. If you can't see, you wanna pull back a little bit. And if you can keep sight of the ceiling for uh, that moment of movement, you can put that right hand on the ground and then change the looking to slightly forward to the reaching hand. We're taking three more breaths here, long as you can make them. Good, back up to warrior two. We're gonna do our twist. You're welcome to keep the back foot flat. You're welcome to come to the ball of the foot. We are swinging the left arm all the way through and bringing the elbow outside of the leg. Don't let the leg get pushed over. And we'll stay here, breathing. There are various different things you can do with your arms, that's fine, but I would definitely keep the arm outside of the leg. The breathing in the nose and get that twist happening in the digestion. Same as the ginger, you know, that we talked about at the beginning, really getting our digestive system moving quick and efficient so we're not keeping anything in there. In, out, like a highly designed uh, vehicle. All right, hands back down, step back, have a push up, lower down, up dog and down dog. And let's please do the uh, left foot warrior two stepping. Heel to heel on all these standing pose in the standing section series. And when you're ready, forearm on the leg, right arm up and over. Good, breathing here, looking up along the arm to the ceiling. Those of you that like are welcome to put the hand down, inside or outside, as long as you're not pushing the knee around. This one we have the option of both sides. Breathe in the twist, we have the uh, Pabrita Trikonasana, also the option of both sides. Good, back up. Let's twist again. The arm that was in the back is the right one, swings all the way through, outside. And you can always come to the ball of foot and put your knee down if you want a little bit less uh, intense workout style situation, you just want to squeeze the digestive tract. I do that a lot and off most of the time. For me, I'm always, I'm, I take it easy a lot. I try to. We're going to breathe here. Got 
Very nice. Hands back down again. Step back on top of push up. We'll lower down and drop down. Up dog, you tighten the legs, by the way, and down dog, pulling up and back. Good. Let's take a few breaths here, see where we are. Good. Let's step the right foot up. We're going to come into horse, or we're going to put the hands uh, on the uh, knees. So you see the toes are splayed out a little bit, the legs are open. You can rest the hands heavily into the knees initially. And on the out breath, rotate the, rotate the right shoulder forward. And then in breath to center, out breath, left shoulder forward. And then on your own, back and forth. Go back to center, let's hold the ceiling. Like we have two pies. Little tight core. Good, straight the legs. Turn the feet now so that they are running straight forward. We're gonna do the twist, so we're gonna reach up and then out far enough so that you're uh, Hands are out under the shoulders. We'll move the right hand to the center. We're going to reach the left arm up, lengthening the tail to the crown of the head. Try not to move the hips too much. Try to move the shoulders a lot. And go ahead and switch. And push yourself up to standing. Reach the arms out and then let's come behind the back. Behind the back we will intertwine. If your upper back uh, is ever sore, I would keep the palms pushed together no matter what it means in your depth. Your depth is not that important to me. And uh, otherwise they can be a part that goes more into the shoulders then. We're going to forward fold, lifting the arms up off the back. Toes light, you could lift the toes so that they're lighter. And if you lift the toes, it creates better circulation in your arches. And we're going to breathe here. Also, the ginger, which we talked about earlier, creates better circulation. Good. Back up again. Touch the ceiling now, both hands. And then we're going to come down and grab the shins, the ankles, or we'll use the astanga grip again, the peace fingers coming around the big toes, pulling the elbows out and away. I think this is our third usage of this grip tonight. I always have called it the astanga grip. I, I suspect there's actually a Sanskrit word for that grip, although I do not know at the moment what it is. Let's please stay down low, both hands over to the right for a moment, nose towards the knee. And then over on to the other side. It'd be terrible if I sang the whole class, wouldn't it? No, we're yeah. singing. No. I like that. Going back to center. We're going to shorten the stance to about three feet so that we can do pyramid. We're going to turn the left toes out so that we're now facing away from our device. Uh, reaching the arms out, I mean the computer or the phone or whatever, I know that sounds weird. Let's bring the hands behind the back. You can grab uh, elbows or uh, reverse prayer. Elbows is a lot less uh, kind of hardcore. We're going to forward fold, and that, that's a good thing, by the way. And then uh, we bring the nose towards the knee. If your nose ever touches the shin of the knee, I would look at the foot in front of you. So the head lifts a little bit, and let's breathe. We're going to just do this one tonight, and we're going to do different sequencing for the poses that I normally put here. So just let's get a long hold on this with some long uh, breathing. Good. 
Good, let's come up. We're gonna pivot one time Mysore style, left toes in, right toes out. And then now we're facing all the computers and phones and all that stuff again and we're forward forward. That's of course you were set up sideways and then who the hell knows. Let's keep breathing. Very nice, let's uh, stand. You can uh, walk the feet around a little bit because we're gonna be doing a long standing series. So shake the legs out if you like. I'm gonna go way back so I can start this here. We're gonna start standing on the left foot. And actually, let me come forward just to the start. We're gonna do tree. So we're gonna lift the right foot. You can grab it and lift it up. It'll lock right there. If that doesn't work for you, Put in the front, I love that. Doing that for years. Otherwise, here we are. Hands to the heart. Let me go back a little bit. We're gonna do some long, long variations in this here one tonight. Stay on this here left foot. Bring the right knee forward, left hand grabs the knee, other hand on the hip. You can reach back, you can look back. You can also extend the leg and again use the astanga grip on the big toe with the leg straight out. Let's stand super tall no matter what you do with your leg. There's going to be a leg burner. Stay on the one foot, bring the hands to the heart center, come forward into a warrior three like I'm making the body like a capital letter T. Ardhashandrasana, the left hand down, the right arm up. Switching the hands for Pavrita Ardhashandrasana. Woo, that is hard. All right, let's stand. Oh, shake it out a little bit. We're going to stand on the opposite foot, whatever that is for you. For me, it's the right. Most of us, it will be the right. We're going to lift the left. Uh, again, up or out in the front is totally fine. Hands to the heart or all the way up like a big uh, tree. Go figure. This is called tree pose. <laughs> Good, leg out in the front, opposite hand, so it's right grabbing the left knee, other hand on the hip, you can reach back, you can look back, you can take the astanga grip and grab the big toe. Good, back to center, hands to the heart, or even all the way out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, capital letter T, here we are. Right hand down, left arm up, Ardhashandrasana. Let's switch the hands for the twist. Whoa, hang on. All right, let's squat. Knees into the, uh, elbows into the knees. Sitting up tall, breathing. Only squatting today. Let's just hang out here a little bit. So uh, we are gonna do a little bit of cat-cow. If you want to put padding under your knees, I would lift the mat up, double it up, and put the knees on that section. Way better like that. Knees two fists apart. You could also tough it out. I'm not a tougher out kind of guy anymore. I used to be. I grew up in the tough out society. 
Let the belly fall down as you breathe out, press the back. Cut in the cow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to be able to say this pose in five languages. I think I'm losing it. Nekato Ushi. Nekato Ushi, that's Japanese. Kati Krova. Kati Krova. That's Polish. Ungato. Ungato Elvako. Yes, no? Portuguese. Right. Portuguese. Maybe, I'm not sure about that one. Back to center, let's look over the right shoulder, see the tail. El gato la vaca, over to the other side, Spanish. What is it in German? I don't know. Back to center, right leg straight back, left hand straight forward. You can do a handshake or palm down. We'll stay here. Those of you that like can bend that leg, come back and grab the foot. I'm not using the Astanga grip here. I have my thumb on my arch and the fingers on the laces. The knee comes up, maybe look up. Good, let that all down. Let's take a moment. All right, uh, left side straight back, right hand straight forward. We'll stay here. And if you like, bend the leg. Again, I have my thumb in the arch and my fingers on the uh, laces. There are, you could just grab the ankle, that's also fine. I like to push into that arch. I have super uh, high arches, like the Tupperware I showed you that is my mother's. These high arches, also my mother's. Good, back down. If your mat's rolled up, you can unroll it. And we're gonna step back to uh, the top of push up because we're gonna take the long way to pigeon. <laughs> so here we go, down, up dog, down dog, release the right foot up. Hold and breathe. Bend that leg, open up that hip, and throw that shit to the top of the mat. I said shin. <laughs> Left leg further back, we look up, hands down, forearms down, and excellent. We're gonna stay here. The knee on the bent leg is slightly outside of the ribs. The foot on the bent leg could come forward until the shin is square to the front of the mat. I would not uh, push it, force it, or overdo it. I would really breathe and just hang out and take your time. Just a little longer. Stay longer. And I, I throw the shin to the top of the mat. I had a student so for two years, she said, I thought you said throw the shit to the top of the mat. For two years, I thought that's what you said. Like it was a metaphor. <laughs> Guess it, maybe it is. All righty, hands back down. Let's step back, top of the push up. You could shake the leg out if you like. We're gonna lower down, up dog and down dog. And then, uh, yeah, left leg up. You could bend that leg and then throw that shit to the top of the mat. <laughs> That's the only time I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm recording now. Bloody hell, I'm gonna lose my yoga teacher license. Uh -huh. Hands down, forearms down, shin slightly outside of the ribs, and we breathe here. Good, stay here. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. It's nice to be here, all of us together, breathing. Hanging out, doing the yoga. Kati Krova. Kati Krova. Mm. 
stay longer. There was a double full moon last night, I think. I got some information maybe at the end of class, we'll see. Trixie would know. Trixie sent it to me. Oh. I didn't memorize it though. All right, hands back down. We're gonna step back and shake that leg out again. One more time, down through the push-up, up dog and down dog. Uh, let's sit with the legs uh, straddled out. I don't think we did this one last week. I might have done it in the Friday class. I can't remember. Easy Fridays. We're gonna breathe in and reach up. We're gonna breathe out and fold to the right and all the way back up and over to the left. And uh, back and forth, always the out breath on the downward fold. Great, let's touch the ceiling for a moment and then bring the arms down, bring these soles of your feet together. Let me go back so I have a frame. I try to make sure that the most important things get seen. I was watching a yoga video the other day and I was like, I can't see your feet. Uh, left on the small toes, right on top. The feet are super important. I mean, in all the poses, I don't mean just this one. And we're gonna butterfly a little bit. Straight up the back, shoulders back and down, top of the head up, staring straight forward. Breathing in the nose. Great, let's forward fold, push the elbows against the legs, fold the face towards the feet. You could also lengthen out and fold your heart towards the feet. It's up to you, we'll stay here. Good, back up. Hey, let's reverse plank. I'm gonna put the legs out in front. The hands will be behind you, but the fingers will be pointing towards your feet. So put those hands back there, get them on a flat surface under the shoulders. I'm gonna lift up and look at the ceiling. You can point the toes. I haven't always done that, but sometimes I do. Good, back down. Right leg bending, grab that right leg. Take the left arm from the opposite side and grab that leg. I'm gonna go sideways so you can see this. So we're holding here, and the hand is six inches out from your tail, fingers pointing away. And sometimes it's hard to get that hand flat, but see if you can with the arm straight. Shoulder pulls back, we gently look back at the eye line, wherever the wall is. You can also put the elbow outside of the leg, lengthening up through the spine. Pushing the hand on the mat, you can wrap, we're gonna breathe. Great, let's unwind, uh, right leg out. Let's do the opposite, left uh, foot in. I like to hug it in really close. I'm gonna take the right arm and grab that leg and, and hang behind you. Sit up real tall. Again, you could bring the elbow outside, but we look, we're supposed to look back, but don't force it back. Just go gently with the shoulders and we look at the, the eye line. So we're not looking at the ground. So again, and, and like a lot of this, we're lengthening the spine to the top of the head. We're lengthening the breath in the nose. Good, back around. We will be on the tailbone if you want to double up your mat, as it'll be all the weight on your tail. From here, we're gonna bend the legs. We're gonna bring the arms under these bent legs and roll back under the tailbone. 
You can stay right here. You can let go. You feel it right away in the core. You'll feel in the core and the legs if you straight the legs, hands in prayer to the toes or to the third eye. You can click it down or you can click it up. And anyways, we cross the legs, grab the shins, watch my back, get straight to the crown of the head again. And that is, was one of five, and this is number two of five, back up. And again, we cross the legs, sit up tall. And three of five, back up. Cross the legs, sit up tall. And four or five, back up. Cross the legs, sit up tall. And last one, five of five. Good. Now grab the shins and go ahead and lie back. Once lying down, pull the shins into the belly. You could bring your nose up to the uh, knees if you like. That will lift the lower back off the mat, stretching it a little bit. And then we're going to do a uh, bridge firstly. Most of us will only do bridge. Feet down flat, feet on knees two fists apart. Yes, we lift the hips. Tuck those shoulders under. Intertwine the fingers back there. Push the arms against the mat as you lift your hips up. Those of you that want to do Urbhadhanya Rasana, Diana Rasana, are welcome to. Otherwise, just stay in bridge, which is where I stay and breathe. Little more tonight. Good, all the way down, hug the knees into the chest, maybe roll around a little bit. And for those of you that want to, we are going to go upside down. We're starting with a plow, it'll just be a couple breaths tonight, kicking the feet up and over the head. The legs remain straight. You can intertwine the fingers and push the arms down. You can have your hands on the back. My toes don't, they rare, my toes rarely go down. If that's go down, that's great, either way you get. Just try not to abuse your neck. A couple more moments here. Good. And then put the hands on the uh, back with the elbows. You can bring them in and we'll go in shoulder stand. You want the elbows to try to come in the distance of the shoulders. The shoulders and the elbows bear the weight. Light as possible in the head. There will be some tension there. You can bring the feet more out over the elbows to get it off your head. You can also bend at the waist. You can also go to the wall and just put your feet up the wall, which is what we do on Easy Friday, my favorite class. Um, not that I don't like this class, too. I do like this class. Don't, oh, no. Okay. The cat is out of the bag. Let's breathe. Cut. Great, bend the legs, bring the knees down towards the ears. Reach back and grab the soles of your feet and lower yourself into dead bug. The black flag pose. <laughs> All right, bring the knees into the chest. Hold them in a little bit again. With the head down, bring the arms out like a T. We're gonna take a breath in. As we breathe out, let the knees fall to the right. As you look to the left, you could put the right hand on top of the knees, trying to keep the shoulders flat on the mat if possible, or whatever happens. Let the gravity just kind of do the deal and open you up into this twist, which is a restorative twist. Uh, let's come all the way up and over to the other side. Mm 
breathing here. Good, back up to center, hug the knees into your chest, thank yourself for coming out. We're gonna take about four minute meditation, maybe five, maybe even six, who knows. But not that long, I won't keep you forever. I like to roll up my mat and sit on the rolled up mat. I cannot remember who taught me this, but it has been very awesome and valuable for sitting every day in meditation, to be sitting on something raised up, so the feet are still on the normal surface of the ground, but just my rear end is on the rolled up mat like a cushion. And it just, it just changes things. You can sit for much longer periods of time. Let us intertwine the fingers with the thumbs touching or right hand down, left on top with thumbs touching. Either way, the palms are facing up. We're lengthening through the back. The chin comes down slightly to the chest. The eyes are gently closed. We're gonna become aware of the breath rising and falling in the body. And we're gonna hang out here for a few minutes to get together, getting our meditation on. This is something we can do every day, alone and together. And let's just find that, and I'm gonna look up some information for you for our final togetherness. So those of you that would like to unmute yourself, we will be doing a final uh, little thing at the end here together and you have time because I'm gonna read you something. So Trixie sent this to me. She didn't uh, write it, but she sent it to me. Um, she said, there is a rare double new moon in Cancer, July 19th and 20th, uh, 2020. This rare new moon marks two Cancer new moons in a row. Time to make room for new miracles by releasing old ways of thinking, feeling, and doing things. Forgive yourself and others to help with emotion and attract miracles. That sounds good to me. All right. Are you ready? So on the moon days, we're going to end 
with uh, howling rather than uh, ohms. So yeah, that's right, Trixie, unmute yourself. Thank you very much. Let's take, yep, everybody get unmuted. Get unmuted, Nikki, all right. Let's breathe it in. Come on, Betty. All right. Living your dream, don't miss it. Namaste. Namaste. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for joining Namaste. us tonight. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Easy Friday at 7. Everyone's at 7 LA time. It's danieloverberger.com. You can find my Venmo and my PayPal there to send me donation for the class. Uh, much appreciated energy exchange. And um, that's it. I'm going to stop the recording on this. Thank you, Terry. And uh, I'll, uh, we can chat a tiny bit here on the uh,